Okay, well I was successful in building a um, CD Wimshurst machine and uh, there were three good how to build videos on YouTube that I studied and studied and was able to successfully build one of these uh, simple Wimshurst made out of CDs. Actually those are the blanks. I didn't use regular CDs, those are just blanks. But these are the three gentlemen to study if you want to build one of these. Uh, this is basically a replication of the Dennis Cook model. Uh, Rimstar Org has um, a real good how-to video, and Thomas Kim has good how-to videos on how to do these um, simple Wim Hurst basically in, in your house on your kitchen countertop if you want to build it like I did. And they're rather simple, but they're rather complicated. And you have to study how all of this stuff goes together and then use what you have at on hand and improvise and then uh, go from there. This took uh, two days to build this but I got it done and that's uh, the capacitor I've shown in other videos. That's 2500 volt uh, 560 picofarad. I don't have a Leyden jar to show this but it works on this but let me crank this up I'll show the spark. It knocks the camera out sometimes so I can't get too close to it. Now the other thing it'll do is it'll run this motor. You see how that's slowly spinning around just with the ground wire hooked up here. Let me hook up the positive wire on this thing. And this was the main reason for building this was I wanted to test the capability of storing energy in a capacitor off of an electrostatic influence machine. And watch this rev up here as I crank on this. And there goes that thing. And this is what I what I really uh, like. I said I wanted to to build a Wimshurst after the success I had with that other um, Lord Kelvin type of design. This was the the granddaddy, the the grand hurrah of the influence machines was the Wimshurst, and uh, this is the one that most people do build if they get into the electrostatic influence machines. Is a Wimshurst. Then there's other ones too that uh, I've been studying that uh, don't even have segments on the uh, rotors. They're just clear. That this counter rotating device here is really fascinating and uh, rather interesting uh, to build. And like I say, the folks that get into electrostatic machines, most of them end up building a Wimshurst. And if you want to do a simple one, these are the gentlemen I recommend here. Uh, Dennis Cook, he's got excellent how-to videos and a website. Uh, Rimstar Org, and then Thomas Kim. And that's my uh, CD Wimshurst machine. Thanks for watching.